What's up, family? It began at Oakwood Barbecue in Austin, Texas. It ended with a 12-year-old girl being hospitalized and a sheriff's deputy in handcuffs. So let me paint the picture. March 3rd, around 8 p.m., a little girl is playing with a dog inside of the restaurant. The dog makes his way to the back of the restaurant where a sheriff's deputy is sitting with his daughter and his daughter's boyfriend. The sheriff's deputy picks up the dog and pets it, puts it back down. When the little girl begins to play with the dog again, the sheriff's deputy loses it. He steps up, tackles the little girl, and punches her hammer style several times in the face. The little girl's stepfather intervenes and knocks the sheriff's deputy out. Now, here's what William County Sheriff Robert Chody said on Twitter. This is his apology, y'all. I'd like to apologize for the actions of one of my deputies whom your officers were forced to arrest on Saturday. I know this was a tough choice, but the right call. Real code demands professionalism because that's who we are now. Hope help is sought by deputy. Danford has since been charged with public intoxication, resisting arrest, and injury to a child. He bonded out of jail and agreed to psychological evaluation. So let's unwrap this puppy. He said that Wilco demands professionalism because that's who we are now, indicating that they've had problems in the past. Of course they've had problems in the past. All law enforcement agencies across America has had problems in the past, present, and they will have problems in the future. Many of them more severe than others. So this is a culture. For somebody to be wearing a badge and a gun to have, to be that far gone speaks volume as to the state of law enforcement in America. Man, you got tens of thousands of dudes around America riding around masquerading as agents of justice. This is a culture it's not an exception. It is the rule. It's like they don't want people who are rational, people who are critical thinkers, people who know how to de-escalate problems. They want the ones who are live wires, who wants to escalate issues. They want the people who don't have good communication skills, good social skills. They are hiring those type of people. That's how you get to be a cop. That's who we see in every day. They got a lot of work to do, man. I'm telling you, man, they got to dismantle the whole thing. It's, it's, it can't be fixed, man. It, first of all, it was built that way in the first place. It was, it was built to, to accommodate renegades, right? It was built on savagery. It was built for people with low IQs, animals. This is how it was built. You know they're always taking the lowest common denominator to do the dirty work. This is who they are. It is a culture. They said this dude was charged with, what was it? public intoxication, resisting arrest, and injury to a child. Those are misdemeanor charges. He should have been charged at the least with aggravated assault and felony injury to a child. That's the least. I would take it as far as saying that 
He should have been charged with attempted murder. This is a grown ass man pummeling a 12 year old kid. If that ain't attempted murder, I don't know what he is. It's a good thing that the father was there because the stepfather, because the next person who was there, other people who was there, obviously they didn't take any action. Action. They probably would have sat back and watched him kill the little girl. And what does that say about his daughter and the daughter's boyfriend? Man. Now, also, you know what? If, if the headlines had read correctly, it would have said, stepfather puts a bunch of lead in dirty cop who punched his daughter in the face. This so-called deputy has a serious mental problem that can only be solved with many years to think about it while wearing a state-issued jumpsuit. But you know how that goes you'll probably get a slap on the wrist because holding a cop accountable for his own actions, well, that's just un-American. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?